So do you want to make a Quest 3 mixed reality game with Unity? And what is the workflow to create a mixed reality game? Well, you just landed in the right place. Since today, we're going to go over how to get your Quest 3 Blast computer ready for mixed reality development. And you'll be building your first mixed reality experience by the end of this video. So stick around until the end because we got a lot of cool stuff to cover. All right guys, so the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have the Meta Horizon app installed on your mobile phone. Then go into Devices, Meta Quest 3, which is what we're using, Headset Settings, and then Developer Mode and make sure that you enable it. Then when you connect to your headset, go into Settings and then System. And then you're gonna find here that we have also the Developer option and enable custom settings where you can basically add additional settings during development, such as physical space features, which allows developers to disable the boundary, pass through and a space setup. Then download the software on your PC, which is the operating system that is going to allow you to run this application. Then to set it up though, just go ahead and get the installation started just agree on the terms and conditions, and then we're gonna be installing the software. Then make sure that you select link cable. I recommend using that because it's going to be a faster speed, but if you wanna use our link, you can do that. Then under the settings, enable the OpenXR runtime, and then make sure that you enable the runtime features that I have listed in here, specifically the pass-through over MetaQuest link, which is what we're using for today's video. Then on our PC, we're gonna be opening the Unity Hub, then installing Unity 2022 LTS, which is what I recommend for MetaQuest development. And then make sure that you have the Android build support enabled, hit continue and agree with the terms. Then if you have a Mac computer, you can do the same thing, just open the Unity Hub and then install the appropriate Unity version that matches the chipset that you have. In my case, I have the silicon chipset, so that's the installation that I'm going to select. And I'm also going to do Android build support. And I just go ahead and agree and then hit install. Now let's go ahead and create a new project by using Universal 3D Core, which is the URP pipeline. I recommend that rendering pipeline when you are creating mixed reality experiences give the project a name, and then just go ahead and click on Create Project. Then we're gonna be downloading the Meta XR all-in-one SDK from the Unity Asset Store, install it. Then you can look at the dependencies and samples. In this case, you can download these samples if you like to. In our case, we're just gonna leave it as it is. Then you can look at the Oculus folder if you wanna look at additional settings, which we're gonna be modifying today. And then also under Packages, you're gonna see all the different packages that were installed as part of the all-in-one package which includes basically all the features that Meta provides. Then open the project setup tool, and this is a really handy tool that wasn't available a while back, and now you can basically just go in here and then apply all these different fixes for standalone or the fixes also for Android, but just make sure that you go through all these steps and that you have everything green. I'm also going to be installing the XR plugin management and then make sure that you enable the Oculus plugin provider for a standalone and also for Android. Then let's go back into Oculus under plugin management and then enable the Quest 3 and also the Quest Pro. Then we can check and make sure that everything is green. It looks like everything is clean and ready to go. There are no more warnings. But if you look at Android, we also need to apply the same settings. So just make sure that you click on Fix All for all the different warnings that we have in here. Then what we're gonna do now though, we're gonna start switching the platform from a standalone to Android, since we're gonna be deploying this to a MetaQuest 3 device. So just go ahead and delete the global volume and also the main camera, go into Meta, Tools, Building Blocks. And this is what we're going to be using to basically get our mixed reality experience set up. So we're gonna be adding a couple of building blocks. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is the camera rig. Once you add it, you're gonna see it on the right top side that it is being added to the hierarchy. Then also add the controller tracking because we're gonna need controller support. Also hand tracking because I wanna show you how we can use hand interactions as well as controller interactions. Then we're gonna be looking for virtual hands because we want to also render hands in mixed reality. So I wanna show you how that works. And then one of the most important building blocks is going to be the pass-through, so make sure that you add that one. And lastly, we're going to be adding the grab interaction one so that we can interact with the cube. So I also recommend going back through the project setup tool and make sure that there are no any more errors or warnings. Let's go ahead and offset it to one on the Z-axis. 
I might offset it on the y-axis in just a minute, but for now, let's go into the camera rig. We can see the dependencies in here. Make sure that you enable Quest 3. And then also, if you look at tracking origin type, it's set to floor level. Just make sure that you leave it as that. We also have controllers in hands, which is correct. And also pass-through support was added correctly by using the setup tool. Next, let's go ahead and change the offset on the y-axis to be one and also on the z-axis to be 0 0.5. All right, so now go into build settings, make sure that you connect to your Quest 3 and hit build and run to deploy the application to our device. So now you can see that controller tracking is working. I can see the cube and this is working amazingly well. We have the grab interactions and you can also see that the tracking works really, really well. Also, the controllers and the buttons are animated, which is awesome. That's part of the Meta SDK. We can also switch to hands by just putting the controllers down. Okay, so next I wanna show you how we can improve the look and feel when we're using hands to interact with the object, in this case, our cube. So let's go ahead and enable hand grab visuals and also the hand grab glow. I'm going to go ahead and associate a couple of different properties in here to the right hand. So just make sure that you associate them as I'm showing you right now to the right hand render and also the right material editor. You can also change the color here for grabbing and also for hover. And there are additional properties in here that you're more than welcome to play with. So we have the cube and we also have visualizations working. You can see the beautiful outline around my fingers. In this case, I have a glow and also an outline. And in this other demo that I'm showing you right now, this is a tutorial that I made in the channel. You're more than welcome to check it out above where I'm using the exact same technique that I show you today. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy watching this video today. If you guys have additional questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's gonna allow me to bring you many more videos in the future. And also, thank you very much to all my patrons for supporting my content over the years and happy extra coding, everyone.